I'm working developing news on a deadly fire. We told you about it first on Eyewitness News this morning. One man has died after rescue crews rushed him to the hospital from the fire scene. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is working the story. He joins us now live with the very latest from the mobile newsroom. Sean. Patrick, it's been a sad morning here in Woonsocket. A man who lived alone in that house over there died alone, too, as it turned out, when the house caught fire. Firefighters got the call from a passerby just after 6 o'clock this morning. This house here on Lydia Avenue in Woonsocket was on fire. Firefighters put out the fire and discovered the body of a man believed to be in his 50s in the living room area. He was removed, transported to Landmark Medical Center. Uh, we have received notification at this time that he uh, is deceased. The investigation into what caused this fire is now on, including a trained dog sniffing for possible accelerants as neighbors shared their thoughts. He was a pretty much quiet guy, kept to himself, stayed in the house. Every now and then you see him come out. Like I said, um, it's a shame, I feel bad since he was my next door neighbor, but like a lot of us didn't really know him. He never came out. He kept to himself, pretty quiet guy. You he say you fine. saw him yesterday. How was he? He was fine because people were coming to visit him and everything. I mean, I saw cars pull in the driveway and out. You don't take things for granted, not today, because mm -hmm. yeah. you live one day to the fullest because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And today is an mm -hmm. example of that. It really is. It really opens your eyes to know that mm -hmm. that could have happened to anybody. The victim's name isn't being released until his family is notified. Live in Woonsocket with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.